Is loneliness truly an epidemic sweeping across our society, or is this just an oversimplification of a complex issue? This question emerged following concerns raised by U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy about a supposed loneliness epidemic in America. His words struck a chord, igniting a flurry of attention and initiatives dedicated to combating loneliness. But let's pause for a moment. While loneliness is undoubtedly a critical issue, some experts are challenging the use of the term epidemic. They argue that it might be an exaggeration, a dramatic oversimplification that could potentially distort our understanding of the problem at hand. Now, you might be wondering, why is this the case? Well, it all boils down to the data on loneliness trends. Surprisingly, it's not as clear-cut as you might think. The patterns are inconsistent, making it difficult to definitively say that loneliness is on the rise or decline. In fact, some studies even suggest that loneliness rates may be decreasing. Yes, you heard that right. Amidst all the doom and gloom, there's a possibility that things might not be as bleak as they seem. This challenges the notion of a worsening crisis and raises questions about the accuracy of our current understanding of loneliness. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces. The picture isn't complete, and sometimes, what we see might not reflect the reality. So, it's clear that calling loneliness an epidemic might be an oversimplification. But why does this matter? Misdiagnosing loneliness as an epidemic could lead to ineffective solutions. But why is loneliness so complex to begin with? Well, loneliness is much like a patchwork quilt. It's a complex issue woven together by an array of societal factors. It's not just about being physically alone, it's about feeling emotionally disconnected, misunderstood, or out of sync with those around us. It's about the quality of our connections, not just their quantity. When we delve into the history of loneliness, we find that it's a concept that's evolved over time. Once, it might have been seen as a sign of weakness, a failing. But over the centuries, our understanding has shifted we've come to realize that loneliness is a universal human experience, albeit one that manifests differently for each individual. But here's where things get tricky. Loneliness is often conflated with social isolation. While they may seem like two sides of the same coin, they're not. You could be surrounded by people and still feel a profound sense of loneliness, or you could be alone and feel completely content. It's this distinction that adds another layer to the complexity of loneliness. The subjective nature of loneliness poses another challenge. It's not something that can be measured with a yardstick or quantified in a lab. It's a deeply personal experience, one that's colored by our individual perceptions, experiences, and emotions. This makes it difficult to measure accurately and consistently across different people. So, you see, loneliness isn't a simple issue that can be neatly categorized as an epidemic. It's a multifaceted problem that requires a nuanced approach, it's a call for us to not just focus on the numbers, but to consider the more intricate aspects of human connection and well-being. Because at the end of the day, we're not just dealing with statistics, we're dealing with people, with their experiences, their feelings, their lives. And that's something that deserves our utmost attention and understanding. So, if loneliness isn't an epidemic, how should we approach it? It's essential to understand that loneliness isn't a one-size-fits-all issue. Our perceptions of loneliness are as unique as our fingerprints, making it a complex phenomenon to tackle. While some may view it as a crisis, others may see the rates of loneliness decreasing. This discrepancy calls for a more nuanced understanding of loneliness. Instead of labeling it as an epidemic, we need to perceive it as a societal challenge, one that is influenced by myriad factors. We need to craft interventions that consider these complexities. It's not about a singular solution, but about a comprehensive approach that addresses the root causes, including social isolation, mental health issues, and societal pressures. Let's remember, it's our collective effort that will make a difference. By understanding and acknowledging the multifaceted nature of loneliness, we're already on the path to creating more effective strategies to address it. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.